get messages from people that say they like it because it's a chance to be creative. Maybe they are a bit nervous about, you know, taking up oil painting or sketching themselves. And a blank sheet of paper can be quite daunting, but with colouring in, the outline's already there. So if you've got a creative spark, and I believe everybody does, you know, you just need the right opportunity to let it flourish. Well, all my work's really nature inspired, so it tends to be the flora and fauna that surrounds me. Um, and for Secret Garden, it was inspired my, by my grandfather, who was the head gardener at Broadick Castle Gardens on the Isle of Arran on the west coast of Scotland. Then the second book, Enchanted Forest, was inspired by the forestry that was behind their house. So they had a National Trust home on the island and uh, we would play in the forests that were laid behind my grandparents' house. It's a bit darker, a bit more mysterious. I never anticipate the colours and I really strongly believe that with the colouring books I'm only doing half the creation, so it's a collaboration. And I draw the outlines and create the composition and then whoever buys the book and then eventually colours it in, they're bringing the colour and they're finishing the, the, the piece. So it is like that we're working as a team. I do this sometimes because I don't want to have thoughts. I want to do it to shut thoughts down. You tend to kind of go into something when you're drawing. It takes you somewhere else. People use very few colours. Some people are very light. And you almost get a sense of somebody's personality. Some people are really rah, bang, you know? And I think depending on how you're feeling on a certain day will dictate as well. I think a good colouring book for adults has to have quite sophisticated imagery. So the reason that you don't want to colour in your kids' books, or at least not in public, is because the images are quite naive and the shapes are quite large, obviously for small hands and big crayons. So for an adult's book, it needs to be a little bit more refined, a little bit more elegant. When I begin a drawing, I always work um, in pen and paper, and I like this layout paper because it's super smooth. Um, and I just work in pencil, I sketch everything out in the composition, then I put a new sheet of paper over the top, like so, and I redraw the drawing, this time in ink, uh, and I add all the small lines and, and sort of tighten everything up. Normally, with a picture, I'd want to go in there with purple and orange and blue, and, and actually, immediately, I'm thinking, I'm going to make Sunflowers, really bright. The owl needs lots of emphasis because he deserves it, he's special. And then everything else will be shades of grey, so it's, it's quite bizarre. The picture's telling me what it wants. I try and hide little surprises in each of the illustrations, so I really like the idea that the more you look, the more you see, and that you have to really sort of explore it, and maybe you don't see things the first time that you notice the second time. Some I look at and think, I wouldn't have done it like that <laughs> because it is so individual and it they might look at it and go ooh you know I wish I'd have done it more like that and that's what's so exciting about this you've got no comparison and for me it's stepping out of the comfort zone of that's a leaf therefore it must be green it doesn't have to be and it's almost like being a bit naughty <laughs> we went to a second print one pretty quick and we got to a hundred thousand books and I was overjoyed and then um, about last October time, we got to 200,000 and I just thought this was crazy. So I remember phoning my publisher and saying, could you let me know when we get to a quarter of a million? Because, you know, I want to put it on my Facebook and tell my mom and all that kind of thing. And um, they went really quiet on the other end of the phone. And I was like, oh, maybe, maybe something's happened or we've overestimated the numbers. And uh, they said, we're pretty sure we're going to hit a million sales in the next two weeks because the foreign edition numbers have just come in. So we jumped from 200,000 to a million. I definitely think the analogue portion of the books has something to do with why they appeal to so many people. With colouring in, you're not plugged in, you can turn everything off, you're not looking at a screen. And I think that chance to just lose yourself in an activity and not be interrupted by a tweet or, you know, the ping of an email or a brand new article that you definitely have to read that's going to enhance your life. You know, it's just a chance to sort of filter all that out and be focused on one thing.